What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today, do you guys see the amount of points that I have in the top right corner of the screen? Yes, 8,500 points, or 85, yeah, 8,500 points, oh my goodness. Uh, 60 Pro Pack Bundle, here we go. We're going to be doing this in four different videos, 15 packs in each video, just so you guys aren't overloaded. 60 packs, whoa. Alright, let's hop it open, let's pop it open, let's do this. This is going to be quick. Austin Lane. Devin Hester. Okay, that's interesting. I'm surprised he's 68 overall. Wow, it seems kind of bad. 94 speed's pretty solid, but I'm not going to look at the rest of his stats. Probably not very good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Where's the gold card? And a Mike Pouncey. All right, I already have a Nick Mangold, so uh, he won't actually be the starter, at least right now, but I'm sure he goes for a decent amount. Definitely a good card to pull. 84 overall is always solid. Anything above 80 this year is going to be good for at least the first month or so. So Mike Pouncey, definitely a solid pull for me. Uh, check out his full stats here. If you guys want to you know, pause the video or whatever, I'll just scroll down and uh, let you guys see. Pass block is a 90, 84 run block as well. Definitely a solid card. Nice pull for me. I'll definitely take that to start it off. Let's open the next pack here. I love how you can do that. Very easy to do. Tim Dobbins. Uh, and a Marcel Darius, another 84 overall pull, so let's go. 84 overall DT, he will definitely be the starting defensive tackle. Uh, Star Latulule, I think was like a 70-something overall, which wasn't terrible, but Marcel Darius is definitely a lot better. I had him on my team last year. Not his uh, base card, but one of his fantasy cards, I think. Uh, and I think he also got a final edition as well, but... That's neither here nor there. This card is actually pretty solid. 87 tackling is very good. Uh, uh, let's see what else. I think I might have went past all this stuff that was important, but... Definitely a good card for me. Uh, 71 speed for a DT is actually pretty good. 92 strength, very good as well. I'm definitely happy about that pull. Let's see if we can pull anything else. Maybe a collectible. That would be cool for one of the uh, for one of the legends. Not quite in this pack. Let's hop right into the next one. Why not? So opener up here, Preston Parker and a Benjamin Watson. So I needed a new tight end. Never even heard of this guy. 80 overall from the uh, Saints, so fair enough. He's definitely going to be the starter. My other tight end was like a 70 overall, I think. So definitely a nice pull for me. He's probably not too great. 83 speed is actually not too bad. 80 catching is uh, kind of suspect. Uh, 75 catching traffic. Not the greatest card in the world, but he will be an improvement over my other tight end, so I can't be uh, complaining here at all. Let's see what else we got. Did we get anything else? Uh, Mike McCarthy and another stadium so uh, I should let you guys know what I do with all these cards is I basically add them to the set so as you guys can see I already added this Browns away card or away uh, uniform to the set I just basically look and see if any of these cards are available in sets and I just put them in there uh, the silver cards usually are not but the bronze cards sometimes are like this one Preston Parker I can put them in the Giants player set no worries I'm not, I know I'm not gonna be using him so I might as well put him in the set no harm, no foul. Let's see if I put Mike McCarthy in the coaches set. I already have. I know I already put MetLife in there, I believe. And then Seahawks defense, I might have not. So there you go. I added two cards to the sets. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That was weird as hell that I said that. But uh, there we go. Another pack here. Lovey Smith. And another Seahawks defense. Okay. Look at this guy. Aaron Murray. Oh, my God. He's ready to go. <laughs> Daquan Menzi. Chase Baker and a Dunta Robinson so I did need an upgrade at cornerback he's not very good but uh, I will be using him no doubt about that I'll promote him to starter real quick let's see what he's working with 90 speeds pretty good at this point in the game let's see what else he's got 43 catching oh my goodness he's not gonna intercept anything 65 tackle not good 87 jumping though is good so he will be able to swat stuff down not a terrible card I mean not an amazing card either but not bad at all uh, definitely something that I'm looking forward to using if I uh, get the opportunity. Let's see if I put Lovey Smith in the coach's collection. I have not, or set, I should say. Uh, but I'll just wait on the other stuff. The rest just goes to your item binder. You don't really have to do anything with it. I really like that. Donald Butler, middle linebacker. Definitely a better middle linebacker than my current one. I think I have Perry Riley there. He's only a 72 overall, and Donald Butler is a 78. So he's going to be a much improved uh, player. He's got 82 speed. Uh, let's see what else he's got. 91 pursuits, very good. 82 block shed, definitely a good card for me. Uh, let's see what else we got in this pack. As there's some noise behind me, got to shut that off after this pack. Not terrible at all. Derek Coleman and uh, definitely a solid pack with the new middle linebacker pickup. All right, guys, we got 10 packs to go. Come on, I need an elite. Have not pulled one yet. I've probably opened around 20 something packs like that. And a Riley Reef. I did need a new left tackle, so I am getting cards that I do. You know, need upgrades at, but he's not probably too great. 84 strength, 86 pass block, and 85 run block. Actually, a pretty solid card, to be honest, for only being, what, a 70-something uh, overall. So I'll definitely take that. Not a bad card at all. Uh, definitely a solid pull for me there. Let's open the next one. Hopefully we can pull an elite 
or a better card and a strong safety adrian wilson 83 overall i'll definitely take this will certainly be the starter i don't have like really anyone in the secondary right now that's good 83 speed 88 hit power which is very good wow uh 70 tackle but the 88 hit power is going to make up for that uh, coverage stats aren't great, but he is a safety, so no worries about that. But 88 hit power is very, very good. Cannot wait to get that card on my team and uh, get it in the in games, really. Let's see what else we pull. Uh, nothing much else, just a bunch of bronze cards and uh, a couple silvers as well. Let's hop right into the next one. Bank of America Stadium, Mike Pettin's offense. Come on, Jordan Todman and a Mike Wallace. All right, cool. We did need a new wide receiver, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure if it'll be wide receiver number one or two. Can't really remember my receivers that I have. Uh, let's see if I can compare them. I can. Okay. So he definitely will be Jericho Cotri. I knew I had a couple golds or a gold and uh, Santana Moss. I thought it was a gold, but I guess not. So uh, let's see. Mike Wallace will definitely be the starter. No doubt about that. He's got 95 speed. Wow, that's blazing speed at this point in Ultimate Team. Uh, catching traffic 79, 88 spectacular catch is pretty good. Route running 82 is not fantastic, but it is solid. Uh, definitely a pretty good card for me, and I will uh, take that, no doubt about it. Let's see if we can pull anything else. No, we cannot. But we did get 25 contracts with this pack. Wow, that's really interesting. The contract system is really cool, in my opinion. I think the lowest you can get in one pro pack is 10, and I, the, I guess the most I've ever seen myself get is 25. So maybe you can get more than that. Not really sure. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see you know, what the maximum is, what the minimum is. I believe the minimum is 10, though. And where is the gold card? Better yet, the red card? Ah, not quite. Chance Warmack, right guard. I do already have a right guard. can't remember who it is. Uh, Alex Boone, okay, so he probably will not be supplanted. As you guys can see, Boone has uh, better blocking stats as a whole. He's a little worse strength and a little worse agility, but overall, Alex Boone is better. And I also have Larry Warford, which uh, if he were my starter, Chance Warmack would have had a chance to start, but we're not going to start him for now, but he will be useful. He's eligible for two sets. Let's see what they are. The Titans gold player and then the elite Titans. So definitely a good card to pull. He's going to be, you know, worth a good amount on the auction block because, uh, you know, he's in a bunch of collections or sets, I sure really should say. Um, and I'll be able to, you know, hopefully sell him for a lot in a week or so. Now opening the next pack, Josh Cadu, Logan Thomas, AQ Shipley. Wow, that's weird. Uh, Lester Jean. Come on, give me something. And the gold card is Chris Johnson. All right, this is actually my starting running back right now anyway, so uh, pretty solid. I, this, this card is definitely a good card, at least in the beginning of Ultimate Team, if you're just playing solo challenges and things like that. The 95 speed and 95 acceleration are very, very good to get you off the ground. Um, I'm not really sure what he's going for on the auction block, but I'm sure that you could sell him for at least you know 8K, something like that, just because people are always looking for speed backs. He's not an amazing card by any means, but definitely a solid card to you know use right when you get Ultimate Team if you can pick him up for pretty cheap in the auction block. Not really sure what he goes for. Hopefully he goes for a lot because now I have two of them. But we're hopping into the next pack here. Giants home, Cheery Wood. Not even sure what I'm saying. Melvin Ingram. I think I already have one of these. I want to say I do. Compare. Yeah, I do already have a Melvin Ingram. So I guess I'm going to have to sell him because you cannot use duplicates, even though I probably would at right outside linebacker. But that's okay. Uh, nothing too uh, crazy with that pack right there. 35 overall card. Isn't the best, but it isn't terrible either. Uh, so nothing much in this pack. We're going to check how many packs we have left to go. I cannot even remember. 49, so uh, we have four more packs to go in this pack opening. Um, and then obviously you guys will see the rest of the 45 in uh, three separate videos for that. But, um, you know, 15 packs of video works out pretty well, I think. We're going to go from the back this time. Never really done this. Uh, let's see what we can get. I want an elite. Not here. Josh Norman, 73 overall cornerback. Not amazing. He probably will be my cornerback too, at least for now, but... Uh, definitely not great 80 man 78 zone not very good 84 speed so he's not even that fast either definitely not a great pull but he will you know supplant uh, a couple of my um, a couple of my cornerbacks at least right now hopping into the next pack can we pull something good and a George Wilson strong safety too bad I already got a strong safety in this pack company that was definitely better um, he's a little bit better tackling than my other one but he has a lot worse hit power I, th I can't remember the other guy's name but I had he had 88 hit power this one only has 74 so not a great pull at all 79 overall though isn't too bad he should be you know a decent card uh, on the auction block things like that <clears throat> uh, let's see I don't think I've ever pulled the stadium so I'm gonna add that to the set uh, that's pretty cool to see as you guys know uh, I do love putting these cards in the set it's very easy to do oh my goodness Cowboys defense never use that playbook you will lose every game by a hundred <laughs> Cowboys defense is just horrible opening the next pack I think this is our second to last if I'm correct I will check the number in a second here 
Now we got a D'Angelo Hall. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, new cornerback, either my cornerback two or one. Can uh, you know? We'll compare real quick and see who we got. Uh, Dante Robinson. So yeah, he definitely will be the starter. Let's just check out the stats here. As you guys can see, D'Angelo Hall just pretty much uh, beats out Dante in almost every category. Not by a ton or anything. Dante is okay, but uh, he will be our second, which is pretty cool. And D'Angelo will be our first. So definitely a good pull for me. I'm glad I got that. Definitely needed a new cornerback, and uh, I did get one there. So let's actually promote him to starter, just because I know he will be starting. Um, and then let's check how many packs we have left. Yes, just one more. Uh, so let's hop right into it. Let's see if we can pull that elite, the first one. This will be, I think, the 30th pack I've opened. And there we go, a Dave Casper, Casper collectible. Awesome. Not really sure what these are going for. It is eligible for two sets, both of Dave Casper's uh, ground and pound and then his speed run set. Not going to add that to that because I really don't know if I'm going to be doing it. But that is very, very cool that I got that. And... Uh, you guys might be seeing that, you know, in the future, either on the auction block or actually being used. Antonio Holmes, let's go. Another wide receiver. Needed more of these guys, and I got another one here. He's, he's actually pretty good. 90 speeds, definitely solid. 91 spectacular catches, very good. And 83 catching overall is very good as well. So that will pretty much do it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, and I'll see you later.